Diabetes is becoming much more common in adults. A lot of it seems to relate to we as adults having a harder time maintaining lifestyles that keep us healthy. So diabetes is one of those conditions where there are genetic influences, there are some things that are beyond our control, but there's other things that we can do to help prevent diabetes and help the treatment be more effective when we get it. Nobody wants to be told you're diabetic. That's You always fear that, uh, and, and to hear it is, is not fun. The doctor came in and farm me, he told me, he says, Wayne, he says, we can do things with diabetes now, we can control it, but he says this first year is going to be the important, important factor on how the outcome is be. I thought to myself, on the 18th of May, this isn't going to whip me. I'm going to do something about it. So right then we started eating right, and I did start exercising, and boy did I ever exercise. You know, physicians, we're inherently good people. We inherently want what's best for our patients, but at the same time, we, it has to be something that's efficient and, and, and we feel that will actually work. So it's about small changes in diet and exercise, um, and that constant feedback. How did it go? If it didn't go well, what could we strategize? What could we do differently? So the most important team member in taking care of someone with diabetes is the patient. You know, the patient uh, is so critical because um, most of the care for diabetes occurs at home. Since this, I, I've got my life back. I, I feel good, I wanna, I wanna accomplish things, I wanna do things, I wanna go see things. It's, it's a life changing. It has not been easy. The exercise and stuff, sometimes you, you just didn't really want to, but uh, I, I've read and I know the benefits of eating well and, and exercising. And now it's, it's a blessing to get up and, and get to go do it. I, I look forward to it.